In this video, we'll be discussing how to generate captivating AI video ads with the push of a button using this AI videos app. All right, so we have two ways to generate the AI video. The first is by putting in a website and the second is by putting in a description. So you, if you have your own description of a video that you like, you can enter the description here and you can choose a theme and the AI will automatically create the video for you. If you have a website, so if you're creating, a, if you like to create an AI video for your your website or any website, you can add the, the you can add the URL here. Again, select the theme, and then press create AI video, and the AI will create the video for you. Okay, so that's it's that simple. But you can you can dive in a little deeper, and you can select the advanced settings, and this is where you get several options. So if you're doing this for a business, you can put in your logo. You can select the language. You could also select the image type. So we have two types here, photorealism, and then we have stop scrolling. So the photorealism will make it look like an actual human being where the, the, the scroll stopping ad is going to have a lot of, if you haven't seen a scroll stopping video, uh, you can check that video on, um, on this page as well. But uh, you can, if the scroll stopping, the scroll stopping video is going to create something that's really out of the norm that will stop someone from scrolling <laughs> down the social media um, the hole, I should call it. When people scroll, have the endless scroll, it'll it'll stop them in their tracks because it's gonna look kind of out of the norm of what they normal, kind of out of the norm of what they're used to looking at all the time on social media, and it'll stand out. So that way, it'll kind of attract the person to click on that ad. Okay. Uh, you then have the option to um, select a, a voice. So there's several voice options. Some has the uh, like American accent. Others have the accent from across the pond, like a, a UK English accent. And then there's um, some voices that have more of a like uh, a Spanish accent. So that'll, that'll come into play. Like an example, if you want to choose, like say uh, the, the, the Spanish language. So then you can have someone that kind of sounds like they're, they, they speak Spanish. So that's an option there. As far as music, you can select the different musical types. You can even upload your own music. If you have, if you have like a, a jingle or something that you want to upload, you can, you can upload that there. And then the video will be created on top of, of your music, but there's some built-in options here as well. As far as enabling captions, you have, you can enable caption or disable caption. So if you just want a video, you can just have the video speak without captions. And then maybe if you have another product outside of this that you want to add your own captions, you can, but you, but you can um, build in the captions here as well. And then as far as the transcript effects, you can highlight it or you can fade or bounce or enlarge or do the karaoke. So, so some of the same things that you've seen on similar apps you can do here as well. Okay. You can select the transcript color. So if you have a brand color that you like, you can select from by just sliding this over, or if you know the actual hex number for your brand, you can put it in here and it'll match it. Like for example, my brand is 144 C72. Uh, yeah, yes, I do remember it. Well, so you can add that there and that'll be the brand color. Then you can choose the fonts. Uh, I have pretty, pretty standard Google fonts. And then you can choose the number of slides. So if you wanted to slide to the six slides, this will be an average of about 30 second video. But the recommendation is always to keep it between 15 and 30 seconds. 15 is the best because, you know, you don't get people's attention all the time. So to get to 15 seconds, you could just choose uh, uh, three slides. I'm sorry, three, yep, three slides and you get 15. Then you can choose the, or the video orientation. So it could be portrait or it could be landscape, a portrait if you want to do it um, like on social media. But if you want to do something for for YouTube, then you could do like landscape before you do something live. Okay, so let's let's try one. So I'm going to, instead of doing a website, I'm going to do text. So I want to say Albert Einstein writing, oops, any, oh my gosh, sorry about the typos. <laughs> okay. Albert Einstein riding a bike in a park. So let's try to see if we can do something like that. Photorealism. Let's see. Um, to do Howard. We'll leave Adam's voice. Let's see the music. It's folk. That sounds peaceful like a bike ride, but let's see if we can find something else. Let's see. Some jazz, or let's see. Uh, what's this one? Oh, we kind of hear that a lot, but let's go to, uh, let's do, this is a jazz. And I'm going to keep the music volume a little bit lower. So that way it doesn't overpower, overpower the voice. And we could even do a lot of that. Cool. All right. I'll leave everything else as is to make it a 15 second video. And uh, maybe I can even make it less, make it a 10 second video. So that way we can um, see the output pretty quickly and hit create video. And I'll be, we'll, we'll see the video pop up in a second. Video is complete. All right. So we have a few options. So we can download a video and then we can share it on social media. We can edit the video if we want to make a minor tweak 
or if we don't like the video at all, but we still like the concept, we can just redo the video and AI will try to re will not try, it will, it will reproduce the video and then we'll be able to see that option and see if you want to move forward with that. But we can also share it. So if you just want to share this video from here right into your social media, you can. So say if you want to do a post about it, you can share it. So that way, whoever views it can have a share link. All right. So let's uh, let's copy the let's copy the share link. Or actually, let's press the share link, and uh, it'll copy that link. So your it'll copy the URL into you. And it'll, it'll copy the URL for you. Then we can paste it into the browser. Okay. So let's paste it here. Hit enter. Then we can take a take a look at the video. Let's see how well AI did the video for us. Witness the genius of Albert Einstein as he gracefully pedals through the park, redefining what it means to blend intellect with pure joy. Let his spirit of curiosity and freedom inspire you to think beyond the equations and embrace the simple wonders of life. All right. So it took two videos of Albert Einstein scrolling in the park and it created um, it created some captions for us. So it, that, that's automatic. So obviously, the more description you give, the more description you give the AI, the better it will become. We didn't give it anything, any context. All they would said was Albert Einstein riding a bike in a park. And that's what it came up with. So if you want to be specific as to what you want the video to achieve for you, then you'll add it here. So we could do the same thing with uh, a website as well. So if you have, you know, products on your site and you sell services, you can just add that here in the website and you can create the theme. So if you want it to be a salesy video, a salesy video or inspirational video or a uh, story time is more if you want to tell like a story or random facts, which is a good one. So if you want to uh, educate and add value to your um, clients and prospects, you can do that as well. So again, we could we could we could be on the site all day trying to create videos. Hopefully I was able to portray exactly what we can do. And obviously the potential is 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 um, beyond what I could even imagine. So jump in, jump in the app. Play with it and um, I hope that you are able to create your next viral video. Until next time, peace.